What does 10 crowns mean to you? 10 Swedish crowns, about one dollar or one euro. Is it a burger at McDonald's? Is it some minutes parking fee in the central part of Stockholm? Maybe it's a coin in your pocket you even forgot about. For me, 10 crowns could be all these things, but most of all, it's not. Most of all, for me, 10 crown is a meal full of care. A meal full of care for my own nutritional needs, a meal full of care for my dreams and my financial security. But most of all, 10 crowns for me is a meal full of care for this planet. I'm now going to tell you the story how a meal for 10 crowns became my own superpower and how it can become yours. Seven years ago, I started working, working as a dietitian at a hospital. One of my first patients was a woman who was sent to me to receive nutritional advice to be healthier. Please don't recommend me that healthy food, was a comment I got not only from this woman, but from many patients. Patients kept saying that they couldn't afford to eat healthy. And that made me think. Why do we think that healthy food is expensive? Well, it's not that strange, actually. Expensive bowls, luxury superfoods transported from all over the world are often presented to us as the healthy must-have choice. At the same time, the cheap food is often presented as the bad guys. The candies, the sodas, the junk food, the burgers, etc. And to be honest, I got really tired of that picture. Because there is so much good food that is cheap. I realized early that if I wanted to succeed treating patients with nutrition, my advice would not only have to be easy to understand, the patient would also need to feel that they could afford it. Luckily, I had grown up in two completely different perspectives of what a meal is. My parents divorced when I was about five years old. Me and my younger brother lived every other week with our mom and dad. And my mom at the time, she worked as a manager of human resources at Burger King. <laughs> this meant that she worked a lot. She worked 10 to 12 hours per day, and she had little time to manage the daily things, such as cooking food to us. And she was always stressed. Her solution to this problem was often to, in the end of the day, drove by Burger King to pick up some burgers for us. And when she went grocery shopping, which happened, she rarely had any plan, which ended up that she bought things we already had or didn't need. My mom meant really well, and she also earned really well. But due to her stress and quick decisions every day, little money was saved, and the food situation? Well, that was not sustainable at all. The weeks with our dad was the complete opposite to this. Unlike our mom, he was very careful with everything he bought. And this was also really the case with food. He cooked every meal by himself. He baked his own bread. He cooked his own chickpeas. And every day at the table, he asked me and my brother, kids, what is the price of the meal today? And we had to guess. So I learned as a very young girl that an everyday meal is about 10 Swedish crowns. And you may, might think that this food was boring, but it was not. My dad was an expert at making really good meals of legumes, beans, lentils, vegetables, spices, grains, and all those things that we now today also know are so very climate friendly. And this is also food we need to eat more of. In Sweden, two out of 10 eat enough vegetables per day. Eight do not. Seven out of 10 eat too little fibers. In general, we eat too much meat and too much junk food. So to add up more of this cheap food, like the grains, like the vegetables, like the beans, the lentils, etc., would not, not only be better for the overall sweet health-wise, it could also help us to reduce our own footprint on this planet. So, what is a cheap meal then? Often, 
you might think of like the typical student food, like pasta, ketchup, and noodles. And yes, this is cheap, but it's not really nutritious. And maybe you think of a simple lentil stew or some pea soup, and yes, this is cheap, good food, but cheap food is also so much more. So, how about a homemade pizza? Where instead of the tomato sauce you made, and the ham, you made a cream based on chickpeas and lemon, and you spread it on the pizza, and then you make some lemon marinated green kale, red kale, you put it in, on the pizza, and put it in the oven, and when it's back, you put on some red pickled onions. Is this cheap? Yes. It's 10 crowns per serving. Is it good? You can try that for yourself. Or how about a lasagna, where instead of the minced or ground meat, you make a sauce made of beluga lentils, and you make a cream based on some sunflower seeds and some plant-based milk. This is not only very tasty and very creamy, it would also be 50 times more climate-friendly than if you would have gone for the meat. Or how about a delicious coconut soup with a lot of ginger, a lot of carrots and coconuts. You serve it with some mung bean sprouts, and know that it's not complicated at all to make on your own. And you eat it with a homemade bread made of lentils and full-grain flour. Today, making these meals, these 10 crowns meals, have become a fun sport. And if, you want, if you're ready to join me in this 10 crown team for a, way, for a healthier way of eating, for a more climate-friendly climate -friendly way of eating, and to maybe save some money, I have some simple rules for you. So one, reduce your meat consumption. And instead, use a lot of the plant-based alternatives, like the beans, the lentils, etc. Two, eat your greens, but don't just pick any greens. Choose the ones in season. However, you can always look in the freezer for nutritious and cheap choices. Three, planning is the key. Don't just go with the flow. Plan ahead for some days and make some extra quantities so you can bring your own food box. Four, don't eat everything you buy. Don't throw away food, because this is basically like throwing away money. And five, buy less junk food, such as the sodas and the candies and the burgers. This is not really nutritious, nor very climate friendly. Today, the planet is burning. We need to reduce our impact. And in Sweden, we are real spenders. We live as if we would have about four planets. What we eat and how we consume food is one of the biggest challenges today, but also one where we as individuals really can make a difference. You can not only make a difference, difference once per day, not only twice, you can actually make a difference three times or even more when you are about to answer yourself the question, what am I going to eat next? This is the time to act. It, is now, it has now been more than 20 years after the time when me and my brother got the question of the price of a meal. And now this has become my work, my passion, and what I do for a living. I create recipes. Recipes where a meal costs no more than 10 crowns, and I make them accessible for everyone, not only patients anymore. I want to shift focus on what a 10 crown meal is from being that burger at McDonald's to a way more healthy and sustainable choice. And I want to encourage you all and everyone to use this power to stay cheap. To not consume more than we need is a superpower we all have to adopt now. The opposite is a situation this planet can't afford. Thank you.